what's going on guys welcome to you go tech 007 um, in this video i'm going to be showing you how an exploit that an attacker a hacker can use to obtain your password from your laptop or your desktop computer okay so here we're going to be using the fake logon screen um, you can get it from github bit admin fake logon screen okay so um if you are in the office or in your workplace and then suddenly you um you go out to probably ease yourself or you're talking to your manager or something and you leave your desktop or your laptop and suddenly it displays a logon screen okay um, be mindful try as much as possible to restart your system and not to log on um, or put in your username and passwords. All right, so this exploit is susceptible to Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10, okay? So um, if you're using such systems, be careful when it displays the logon screen. All right, so here we're gonna navigate to the download folder. That's where we downloaded the logon screen trunk. Um, you can see it's below us here. It's already the extracted file so this is the downloaded file here fake logon screen trunk zip so when we unzip it we're going to get two files so we're using this one which is fake logon screen to file that's what we're using okay so let's bring it up here to our desktop and let's x out of um let's x out of this folder okay so um now um here we're going to create a folder and we're going to call it patch files patch files okay all right so i'm going to copy um the bat file and the fake logon screen into that folder okay because i'm going to be mailing or probably um, zipping this file and then putting it in the link and for my victim to download so this is the two files here i also need one more file here which is the netcat okay the swiss army all right so um here i'm going to quickly locate my netcat okay on my system so this is the attacker system so it's a user share windows resource binary netcat.exe so i'm going to copy this um this file to the my patch file so I'm gonna copy user oops uh, let me just use my super user do CP let me extend this okay it's already there okay so I'm going to get rid of this so I'm copying this file to it's gonna be my patch the root folder uh desktop next is going to be desktop and then patch files so i'm copying from my user share windows resource binaries netcat.exe and i'm putting that file to my patch files in my desktop so put in your password there and then when you click on it you see it's it's here this is the netcat so these are the three files i need okay the batch file i'm going to explain that in a minute Okay, so um, here, quickly clear this. Okay, so right now I'm going to CD to desktop because I want to zip this file. LS, I can see my patch files there. So CD into the patch files. I have my three files. Um, the fake logon screen to file, which is what I'm using. You can also use the other one, which is fake logon screen.exe. So I'm going to zip this. And I'm going to call the name patchfiles.zip. And I'm going to zip these three files, the netcard, the patch file, and the patch bat, and then the fake logon screen to file. So click down on that, and it is zipped. So when we do ls, you can see the patch files is now zipped here. So all the three files, all the three files are in the zip file. Okay, so the next thing um, we want to do here is to um, copy this to my hosts folder that i'm going to host this file so i'm going to do sudo cp um what i'm going to do i'm going to copy this patch files dot zip to var www html and then patch files dot file uh, patch files dot zip so click enter that and this is going to be hosting your file 
the web server and then i'm going to sudo and then enable my apache 2 service so let's start up the service so that we can host this uh, particular file on our web server okay so now let's explain the batch file so if i click on this so what this is going to do is going to check if the user.db in the local app data is empty if it's not it's going to delete it then we're going to fire off our uh, fake logon to file.exe and then we're going to send whatever comes out uh, from the user.db to our uh, listening port so here i'm just going to play this um, let's just play a cd to our root and then clear this okay so here i'm going to start my net card and then listen on port 4444 which is nctac nlvp 4444 so i'm listening okay so i'm going to come here and take the action of the victim so i'm listening in port 4444 here so let's quickly check our ip address you know at for you know attackers machine so which is 192.168.135.130 so i'm going to come in here and then type 192.168.135.130 slash patch files dot zip uh, please note that the ip address here is going to be maxed so um it's not going to be like this and attacker is not going to send an ip address for you to click because he knows that you're not going to click it so it's going to max it using various applications like uh, the bitly all right so once the application is downloaded once the uh, victim clicks on that link um, the file is going to be downloaded automatically so uh, let's take the action of the user drag that drag it to our desktop i'm going to open this file up and extract it okay so uh, for those of you that um, download cracks to enable um, softwares be careful you don't you might not know what you're downloading you might not know if you are being fished okay so this is a pretty dangerous exploit so here we've taken the action of the victim we've opened our files in our desktop and we're going to double click on this patch patch files here and as i come i send in an instructions for you to open it up in desktop so here immediately the patch file is clicked it's going to display this wonderful log login screen so when you enter your password okay and if you come in here you can see that it's it has sent it automatically to the attacker so the attacker now has your detail your logon password all right so let's try this again with a fix with a fake password so come in here double click on this so once you double click on this, it's going to check for the user.db. If it's empty, it's going to delete it. And then it's going to fire off that um, fake logon to files.exe. And then display this page, this logon page. So here we're going to enter a fake logon password and hit enter. So if you do that, it's going to tell you that the password is incorrect. That you should try again. So uh, now I'm going to enter the real password, ABC123, enter. Boom, we are in. So when we go to the attacker's machine right now, we can see it here displaying the fake password, which is wrong, and then the correct password. So an attacker can use this password to do whatever he wants on your system, gain access at any time he wants, and then remotely control your system. All right, so don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then like this particular video if you find it helpful. Thank you. Thank you.